What is going on YouTube? My name is Travis. I want to thank you for tuning back in to another TDH upload. This is part two of our Carolina Skiff J16 front deck and center console restoration or refurbish. We picked these up off Marketplace for 100 bucks. Got a whopping deal on them. If you guys haven't checked out part one, go ahead and jump back, check that out. It'll bring you up to speed all the way up until now. Over the weekend, we did some more fiberglass work off camera. I know you guys have seen all of my sanding and fiberglass work, so it kind of gets redundant. Don't want to bore you guys. I know I'm chatting a lot, but just want to bring you up to speed on the center console. My buddy came over Saturday night. Uh, he helped me glass up all the remaining holes, and he also helped me do this big giant hole over here. I thought I was going to have to lay up some kusa or some marine plywood or something, but we ended up just using some uh, biaxle and that worked just as well we did biax on both sides and then loaded it up with chop and uh, just take the fuller resin and we are good to go so all the holes are filled up aside from obviously the steering wheel or the helm hole i'm assuming this is some sort of factory hole that was here from carolina skiff and then this was uh, at one point a factory hole that somebody cut out for that switch panel i'd like to do maybe like a bezel on this thing or a switch panel down the face so i may just leave these holes as they are for now and uh maybe do a nice panel that takes up this section right here so i can cut that out and then maybe fold some glass or glass in the wood that's uh, exists as far as the center console goes it's just going to need some sanding work and then i picked up some all fair i can come back after i sand everything out and all these low spots and uh, chip spots and stuff i can come in with some uh, fairing compound swipe that in there especially here we can see all the small holes from the uh, chop mat we can go ahead and uh, put fairing compound on there sand that out and make it look nice and pretty so Got a lot done on the center console. We'll move over to the front deck. Just want to show you guys, I removed those god awful patches that whoever did. If you're watching this video and you patch this thing, you suck. You've got to grind out gel coat before you can even get anything to adhere to it. So it took me, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes just sanding the edges and I was literally able to punch it right out. I should have filmed it, but it's all boring stuff. It's just redundant sanding and sanding and sanding. And uh, yeah, that's that. So what we're going to be end up doing with this, I'm going to take some marine ply and uh, cut it to size and then we'll tab it into the back with some cabasil and then uh, we'll start layering up that front end i gotta grind all the gel coat away from the face so that way i can get it to adhere and we should be good with patching that stuff up and then lastly is going to be my hatch i'm going to try to find a hatch this is roughly like 26 inches or 28 inches in width and like 16 inches in height somewhere around there if i can find a hatch that can take up this place i will if not we're gonna have to do some major glass grinding here and uh, repair work on this just because it's kind of a, you know, half-ass job if, uh, if I'm saying it politely. Anyways, that is that. I'm gonna shut my mouth. I'm gonna get the sanding on this thing, get into shaping, and I'll check in with you guys when I'm done with that. The center console is looking better and better each day. I got all the excess fiberglass sanded down. Everything is knocked flush with some 80 grit. It is nice and smooth here to the touch. You're gonna see a few areas where I need to get some of that all fair filled up in these low spots. And then this guy I haven't even uh, given any attention to yet. I need to grind this out in the center and then add some chop mat and fill that up. We got a couple holes too that I still need to hit. One, two, and there's three, four, five down here. Just a few more that I may be able to get away with just using the all fair rather than mixing up cabasil, but I did want to show you guys the progress here. We are looking better and better. I'm going to turn my attention to grinding down on the back side of the front deck now, and we're going to get ready to uh, cut down some plywood for that, so let's check that out. The marine plywood is all cut up, ready to rock and roll. Got my other sheet there. This guy's just gonna sit down in those blue lines. As you can see, I went ahead, as you saw in that time lapse, ground everything up. This nice icy finish is ready for some cabasil and some epoxy. 
You can see that this nice shiny finish hasn't been ground up, but I'm not too worried about that. This area is gonna get cabosil all along here, obviously, and all along the face and then up top. This one's cut out just a little bit better. I don't know if this is from the factory or from the guys that did the patchwork, but this one has a nice lip where I'm gonna be able to put some cabosil as to where this one does not. There is no lip here, so what I'm gonna end up doing is probably pushing in some cabosil from the face of it. And then when I set this guy down and in place and I'm ready to uh, start getting this thing all wet up and glassed in, I'll probably end up pushing down some cabosil here in this face and then maybe in here. This is kind of a big gap. So uh, I don't really want the cabosil to crack and cause me issues, issues down the road, but I do want to be able to uh, lay some glass over and tab this whole section in. So that is the main plan. This will sit nice and flush. And then when we're done with the backside, we will be able to flip it over and uh, check out the front. And we could probably lay some biaxle in the front and uh, blend that all in there. So that's the name of the game with the marine plywood. They, these guys right here, these are just scrap pieces from the formula. So I'm gonna have to sand these down just a little bit, epoxy them, and then glass them together before we end up laying them down or just glassing them on here either way. But that is the game plan and uh, we'll get back to work. We've got some glass down, folks. We are looking pretty good here. I got some areas where I've got a little bit of voids where I'll have to come back and grind once it's all kicked off and hard. I can come back and feather those areas out with some 80 grit. And uh, while I'm in here with the 80 grit, I'll chase out these 20 ounce edges and stuff. I just laid this mat on top for some structure. Everything has been covered down and rolled over with some 10 ounce. This uh, lighter material here doesn't take as much resin and it's easier to work with and it's easier to get these nice fillets and these radiuses all around with the cabosil and then chase it with the 10 ounce. So uh, I did that and then I laid some 20 ounce over it and I'm gonna come back, like I said, with 80 grit and clean all these edges up, clean up the few spots that I have some voids and uh, shape all these edges where the 20 ounce is. And I may just ice up these edges one more time right here and tab some more 10 ounce, maybe one more layer on either side, just for the peace of mind. And as you guys can obviously, obviously see, I did the cabosil all on these edges like I talked about earlier in the video. And I also sanded out more. I came out a bit more, just chased it out because I talked about, I was not worried about the cabosil laying down, but I was worried about this fillet and obviously glass laying down. So I ground, ground that out a bit more and uh, that's how we're looking. I think I might go ahead and unclamp her. She's been sitting for about three hours now and I just want to see how the face looks. I think I might slide it out just a little bit so that way it doesn't stick and maybe we can take a gander at that. Also, as you guys saw, towards the end of that time lapse, Jack was uh, stopping by Got him an air compressor, a really good deal on that. So he's gonna pick that guy up. He ended up uh, showing me how to use some of that all fair and we got some of that all fair down and uh, it's looking better already. I'm gonna come back through tomorrow, sand that stuff. And speaking of the devil, the man just walked right in. Like I said, he gave me a hand with this and uh, just wanted to show you guys a quick update of that. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can just slide this off and hope that it doesn't stick to the table and see how it looks. All right, guys, we popped it free from the table there. Let's have a quick look at it. Gonna have some sanding to do up here on the face, obviously. Gotta knock down the uh, gel coating and then shape up some of this cabosil that's pressed through. But it's good that I'm seeing it being pressed through there. I'm gonna come back and we flip it over and smear it up into the face, fill any gaps that we have, but it's looking good. Let me not get too greedy here. Keep it on the table. To my luck, it'll frickin' fall or something stupid. Put it back there. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw a clamp on it so that way I have a piece of mine while I leave it overnight, but we're looking better already. I have that sealed up and then addressing the hole, the hatch hole. That's as far as I'm going tonight. I am going to be wrapping up. I'm gonna leave this guy here to do its thing. It's gonna kick off and cure more, let it sit for 24 hours. I have a mobile job tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tackle it anyways. I'm hoping to hop back on it sometime this week, but I know that I've got uh, a busy week ahead of me from here on out. If, uh, if it's not this week, it'll be this weekend. We'll jump on this guy. We're gonna obviously grind this whole back end, everything, get this all prettied up, then we'll flip it over. We'll fill the face in. 
uh, on those edges after everything's getting sanded up and prepped, fill the edges in with cabasil, come back over with some uh, biaxle or maybe some 10 ounce and then layer up some biaxle on top of it. We'll figure it out when that time comes, but we've got some more work ahead of us. I will see you guys when that happens. Later. All right, guys, just wrapped up on an intercooler job for a BMW Saturday afternoon. Ironically, I'm wearing what I was wearing earlier in the week when I was doing my sanding work. Go figure. Gonna set you guys up. Gonna start sanding on the face of this thing all the way around so that way we can prep to uh, smear up some cabasil on the front of this and uh, start getting this all glassed in. I have yet to touch the back end of it, but I figured we'll just dive right in and go to work. So here we go. We've got the cabasil, aka peanut butter, pushed up into the gap between the marine plywood and the front deck, as you guys can see here. This one does not have fiberglass over it yet. I got a little ahead of myself, I won't lie to you guys. I got this one all glassed down. When I mixed up the cabasil, I took some of the cabasil on this low spot here for the center console and uh, pushed some cabasil into that, that low spot. And then I did three layers of 10 ounce and then the rest of it was chop mat. So I got a little sidetrack. I was trying to do more than I could actually handle or a bit off more than I could chew is what I should say here. So this has got some fiberglass on it, one layer of 10 ounce. The center console is all good to go, but I was a bit late on getting some 10 ounce on this just because the cabasil started to kick off already. It started to harden up and you can see these little dips and edges and stuff. I'm just gonna let this kick off and do its thing and then come back. And Damn train. I'm going to let the uh, cabasil kick off, come back with 80 grit tomorrow morning, fair it out, make it nice and smooth and pretty. And then while I am uh, getting that all wrapped up, you know, I'll clean it out, lay out some 10 ounce. I've already got a, a piece cut right here, ready to rock and roll. So I'll wet that up, throw that on there. And then uh, while that's doing its thing, that'll give me time to shape and fair on the center console. So I can start working on this and I can start knocking down some of this all fair and then I can if I really want to, I can take some all fair and I start applying it to the other areas. I am getting low on 80 grit, so that's probably what's going to slow me down. I got to order more of that or go pick up some at Harbor Freight, which the Harbor Freight stuff is pretty decent, but Amazon, you can get a whole roll of 100 for the price that you can get um, a Harbor Freight roll. So I may have to play the waiting game on that, but I just wanted to show you guys the progress on the front deck so far. Well, that's about it for today's video, guys. We're getting a little lengthy. I think we're at 13 or 14 minutes. I wanna go ahead and get this video uploaded and posted for you guys so that way you can kind of see the, some of the progress. I was hoping to uh, be able to do a bit more today, but working on that BMW, getting all that intercooler piping and all that stuff knocked out, took up majority of my time. I wanted to make sure I had that out of my hair and uh, ready for the customer to pick up next week so that way I can spend some time on the boat, working on the boat, because I, yet to be out on the water you guys can see that i did change because it's been non-stop raining and i got poured on earlier i went back up to the house grabbed me some uh, dinner and a few drinks came back up to the shop and i got poured on so i was like oh my gosh anyways guys that's about it for today's video i do appreciate you guys watching be on the lookout for i guess part three that will be coming up hopefully sometime next week and uh, i'm really trying to get this thing all blended up prettied up painted so that way we can get it installed on the boat and get back on that center console and figure out what we're going to do from there i also posted my mercury 25 you can't really see it it's hiding behind my welder but i posted my uh, mercury remote 25 for sale if anybody has any interest in this guy i've got the uh, controls uh the th well i've got the wiring harness with the key i've got the throttle controls and the throttle cables i'm asking 800 dollars. it has a bad lower unit it is a 25 horsepower it runs but if you guys have any inter interest in that Shoot me a message, let me know. But other than that, guys, 
I'm done rambling. I will see you guys in the next upload. Thank you so much for watching. Later.